growing up with these two people they're known as national treasures heroes in a way Michael Caine great for his films Elton John produced magnificent music in his lifetime known as national treasures but now to me known as national sellouts national scumbag traitorous sellouts you see the one of two they're going along with the agenda and they understand truly what's going on well, these two people are absolutely brainwashed with a deception so big that even they can't even perceive that could be they could be conned to such a level to which they are ask yourself this question folks why do we need famous people to promote and convince you to go and get a vaccine a jab why do we need these people to do that you don't they're being used as pawns celebrities used as pawns to convince the masses to go and get the vaccine I don't have to tell you that those who are awake already know that put two burger stalls on a street and put somebody in one burger stall who nobody knows and put them two in the other burger stall who's going to sell the most burgers <laughs> it's as simple as that isn't it who's going to sell the most burgers at the end of the day who's going to sell out you know who's going to sell the most that is an ex example of why they use celebrities for all different reasons to push narratives on the people in the world you shouldn't have to be told by these two people whether you want to take a vaccine or not who needs these people for tell you I don't need these people tell me I make my own judgment people are truly that stupid now and let's just talk about the UK people are that stupid in the UK now and the government know this that they're that stupid that if they get celebrities on TV to push the narrative to go and, and push the agenda to go and line up to get a vaccine because you're being told that these two are supposed to have had that vaccine which they likely haven't people are that stupid in society to go and queue up possibly for an hour roll the sleeve up and get a vaccine because these two tell you it's perfectly safe and they tell you it doesn't hurt I've seen the write up on the uh, a page that I went to on Google about what these two are saying it doesn't hurt, it's simple you must all go and get a, a vaccine to because uh, what does it say to protect your, if you love your loved, if you care for your loved ones and something like that. Are they trying to say now that if you don't get a vaccine, you don't love your own family? Is that what they are actually saying? If you don't get a vaccine, you no longer love your family. This is the evilness in the script that they're telling people to put. Demonising you if you don't go along with it. It's a, oh, it's, it's, it's just, a, it's just mind blowing. It's shocking, absolutely mind blowing. Just check it out for yourself. Elton John and Michael Caine, absolute sellouts, traitorous to the people. You total wankers, the both of you. Elton John audition, take one. My name is Elton John. Cut there. Little less showbiz, Elton. My name is Elton John. Bit more showbiz. My name is Elton John. Let's go for your Michael Caine impression. Just let, let's see what it's like. My name is Elton John. 
Beautiful cup there. The more people in society that get vaccinated, the more chance there is of eradicating the national COVID pandemic. It's really important to know that the vaccines have all been through and met the necessary safety and quality standards. So this is the bit where you're going to have the vaccine now, Elton. So right. just kind of pretend that you're having the vaccine from a nurse. Oh! What was that, Elton? That was me acting. OK, let's cut there. And as you can see, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, OK. Thanks, Elton. We'll let you know. Oh. Well, at this short notice, you won't find anyone bigger. Thank you. Hello. My name is Michael Kane. I've just had a vaccine for COVID. It didn't hurt. Not many people know that. I cut that marvellous. That was fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you, Sir Michael.